So welcome back to my channel. You're with Boo, you one and only. You already know what it is. You already know what to do with another video. In today's video, I'm covering, this is actually the first episode to my bartending series. So today is going to be covering just ba basically the basics for beginners when it comes to bartending. So if you're planning to be a bartender and you need some help, this is a great video for you. Today I will be covering um, well call, sub premium, premium alcohol. I will also be covering glassware, um, typical tools behind the bar, fruit, bar setup, um, just some basic things, um, some of the things I keep behind the bar. So yes, a very good beginner's video. So make sure you guys watch this whole video through. Running to you, you the one. Running to you, you the one. I ain't been trippin' Pullin' on P, you know I'm swervin' Got a bitch, but she know I'm curvin' Run it up like a nigga earnin' Got a check, now my nigga smurfin' Sorry, I had to redo this. But anyways, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. You're with Boo, you're one and only. You already know what it is. You already know what to do. We're with another video. And today, it's gonna be kind of like a go with me to work type of vlog. And right now we at Dutch Bros, my favorite place ever. So I'm about to get my order right now. Don't play with your girl. So give me one second. I'm waiting for her. How are you? Good, what can I get for you? Um, Let me do a medium blended blue rebel energy drink. With peach, pomegranate, strawberry, and coconut drizzle. And then coconut drizzle? Yep. Awesome. I'm also going to get a small iced coffee. I'm going to do, let me do an iced mocha today. All right. Um, and can I get chocolate drizzle on the walls and whipped cream? Yeah. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Doing good. All right, you have that medium blended strawberry peach pomegranate rebel with coconut drizzle. And then you have that small ice mocha with chocolate drizzle and drizzle around the cup. Yes. Amazing. Let me turn in the screen. Thank you. There's that blended rubber for you. Thank you, ma'am. I know you're going to want straws today. Um, actually, I have a straw. Okay. I'm good. Thank you. Small ice mocha. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, you you too. Thank you. Oh, I got my shit. This is literally the best thing ever. Y'all, I'm double caffeinated right now. I even got a coffee. That's my order from Dutch Bros, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm ready for work now. Yes. Okay, but today, y'all, I'm going to kind of focus on probably, like, I really want to do, like, a series. So maybe this will be the first series. Um, but I want to do kind of, like, beginner's bartending type thing and kind of be a little more, more of, like, a tutorial, a little more informative um so today i guess maybe we'll start off with like how to maybe like set up your bar how to cut fruit just some basic stuff so i'm gonna go over just like the basics so y'all can come in with me to work because we is here right now so make sure you like comment and subscribe because your girl's on the road to 2k so yeah let's get your girl to 2k 2k so really every, everybody has a preference when setting up bar mats, but this is just how I do mine. You basically, what it is, is to put cups and other items on, you know, when customers are sitting there. Um, this is my fruit tray. I have orange, lime, lemon, cherries, salt, sugar, tahine, all that good stuff. Um, everybody's different and depending on what your bar carries and what kind of cocktails you make, that will decipher what's in your fruit tray and what you have for rimming salts and whatnot. We have a painkiller, which is kind of our version of a pina colada, and for that we use a um, what I'm pouring right here, which is condensed milk, and then what you've seen was those coconut shavings. So that's one of our rimmers. It's actually really messy. But for instance, if you need something, like if you're using something like um, coconut shavings or something heavy, this stuff will make it stick for sure. Um, sugar as well, salt. Yeah. 
Um, I have basil and mint fresh garnishes and that's nutmeg right there. Um, uh, when setting up your bar, you want to make sure everything's stocked. So you want to make sure you have straws. So like the short cocktail straws. I like to make sure I have like the big straws. Um, you want to make sure you have enough napkins. Um, so yeah, when you're coming into work, just set up your bar how you like it, what's easily accessible. Because you really want to be able to work in a small area, but tidy. Um, and you want to be fast, so you want to have all items you need accessible in your area when you're building cocktails and whatnot. Because when it's busy, you gotta slang them things, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is just me kind of like stocking my area. Um, these are some of the fruits that I use for garnish. So we use cucumber, lime, orange, beers. Um, this, is all, this is like where I keep all my frozen stuff, so I have cherries for old fashioned, those are ice cubes for whiskey, um, this is a backup cooler that I keep all my extra simples, extra fruits, some champagne, my wine fridge, you always want to keep that baby stout, um, tap handles, you want to know about those, um, but yeah, this is kind of just how I have my bar set up and very cute little bar that I have right here. Um, these are all my utensils. I'll go a little more in depth with these in the next snip clip it, but these are the utensils I use pretty much all the time. Okay, y'all. So I'm just gonna kinda explain to you guys some tools, just like a quick little snip clip. A lot of this video is gonna be me doing a voiceover, um, but I'm just gonna kinda explain to you guys some of the tools that I showed you guys. So this is just a spoon, it's a long spoon um, to stir or whatever. Um, this is a strainer, so you actually put it on the lid, and it's like a double strain, you know what I mean? Really handy. Um, I also have this one, so like if you're doing a martini, because most people with martinis want it fine strain, so you can go like this, and then like strain it with another cup, you know what I mean? So this is another strainer. Um, these are muddlers, so you use these to muddle like basil, cucumber. Um, this is a grater. I use this for nutmeg. And then this is a peeler, and I use this for oranges. Yeah. And then this is also to pop bottles and stuff. So these are just some of the little basic tools. Always have a muddler, always have a strainer, always have a spoon. Those are like the three main. Um, and definitely something to peel with. So those are my main items that I keep up at the bar. So back to work. Again, this is my rimmer. That's my stuff for my painkillers, salt, tahini, sugar, a little bit of lime juice in the middle. That's what you dip it in first to hit the salt or the tahini. These are some of the glasswares I use, rock glass, pint glass for beer, tulip glass for short pour, sangria if you want to be killed, shooter. <clears throat> you got a copper mug for mules. Um, and then you got like a typical shot glass. Okay, now I'm gonna go over some glassware with y'all. So these are all the different types of glasses that you keep behind our bar for different beverages and whatnot. Um, so this is the typical wine glass. Um, I do put some cocktails in these, but these are typically for wine glass. Um, they're dirty right now, sorry. Well, not dirty, just they have like the water stains. Um, this is a coupe. This is typically for like a martini or um, I don't know. You know, that kind of stuff, French 75, coupe glass type ordeals. Um, this is like a shooter, so this is gonna be like a shot, but like not a straight shot, like a shot mixed with other things like pineapple juice, orange juice, like whatever the case is. So this is a shooter. Um, I also do put shots in this, so like at my bar that I work at, when someone orders just like a straight shot of a top shelf alcohol, we don't just do like an ounce pour, which is what these are. We do like an ounce and a half. So I typically pour shots in these and I'm a little heavy handed. Um, this is a shooter. So this is what you would put like an ounce shot in if you were just doing like straight shots or drop shot, whatever the case is. Um, this is what you call rocks glass. So, so this is a shorter glass. This is what most cocktails typically go in. Um, so yeah, any short cocktail. Pint glass. Some cocktails do go in this, but this is typically for beer. Um, I believe this is like a 16 or... Yeah, this is a 16 ounce, I believe. 16 ouncer. Um, this is a 12 ounce short pour beer glass. So this is for beers because in the state of Texas, it's like illegal to have the 
certain amount of alcohol within one beverage. So um, this is for a typical, like, for instance, this one we use for Lakewood beer, which is a 9.1 ABV percent. So it's very high in alcohol content. So we typically put that beer in this. It's a 12 ounce pour in a Devil's Backbone, which is another beer that is strong. Um, this is a mule mug. So we put basically just mules in these. Um, mule is like a basic drink and that'll probably be maybe another video. I'll do a video of basic cocktails. So this is going to be a series of videos and this is episode one. So this is just like the basics behind the bar, setting up your bar, what items you might need. We might go over well, call, sub premium and premium liquors as well in this. But another video will be like basic cocktails for beginners with bartending. So just some cocktails you should know in your back pocket, some easy things like three-step type ordeals. Okay, now I'm gonna go over like wells. This is like my well alcohol. So you like well rum, well gin, well vodka, well, well vodka, well tequila, um, well whiskey. And basically what well is is the cheapest, basically, bottom line. You got well vanilla, um, this is citrus vodka, that was vanilla vodka, peach schnapps. Um, then you're gonna go up to your call. Well, that's triple sec. Triple, triple sec is used for uh, margaritas. So you got grenadine, that's not of alcohol. Aperol is liqueur, rhubarb liqueur. Um, Paula's grapefruit, that's like a liqueur I use in a Paloma. Um, Sear so suckers, now we're talking calls. This is call vodka. This is your next step up. This is Sailor Jerry's and Spice Rum. That's coconut rum. Um, that's a ha pineapple jalapeno tequila. This is vodka, tequila, Camarina. Um, this are the call whiskey. So you got wild turkey, buffalo trace, crown. You got Maker's Mark, BSB. And then now you got top shelf whiskeys. Then you got some scotches, Lafroy and Gimblet, Dwarfs. Um, then you got over here Martine Honeysuckle Liqueur and St. Germain, Grey Goose. These are just some top vodkas. And then these are my other vodkas. I consider those like a call, the Deep Eddies. They're flavored vodka. Down here is where I keep my tequilas. That's also Ron Zapaka rum. That's rum. Um, another rum Bacardi, some other random stuff. Yeah, some other tequila. Then you got my gin, Grand Marnier, some liqueurs. And this is just my random stuff. Most of this stuff's for like shooters. So you got like Amaretto, Raspberry McCormick's, um, Blue Sierra Cow. Um, these are just random things that we have um, on the side to make random things. Melon liqueur, that's watermelon. Chocolate, cream de coco, um, cream de cassis, I don't even know what that is, black raspberry, um, just a bunch of random stuff, cream de mint, black raspberry, raspberry, and then cream de banana, so you can do like scoop snacks. Um, just a couple other things to know, um, know what, what your bar has, so this, what I'm showing you guys is specifically for my bar itself, the one I work in. <clears throat> but definitely everything's a little different. They might want you to have different things out. There might be different fruits that you guys use, maybe different ways you cut things, um, different garnishes, of course, different cocktails. Um, the bar that I work at, we specialize in, we have a full bar, so we have 12 tap handles and we have a lot of different alcohols, so there's a lot we can do. Um, but good things to also know is if you guys have tap beers, know a little bit about beers, what I always tell my servers, <clears throat> because I am a manager, I do tell my servers, to know at least one IPA, something dark, something light, and something fun. So something fun could be like a cider or a sour. Um, it's always good to know an IPA because there's a lot of IPA drinkers. You wanna know lights and darks, but it does get a little more in depth from there. So it's kind of a fake it till you make it type thing. I personally didn't know a lot about beer. Um, I'm not much of a beer drinker myself. I tend to drink hard cider if I'm drinking any beer. Um, but there's different, there's lagers, there's Hefeweizen, there's IPA, there's so many different types and styles of beers, blonde ale, brown ale, amber, you name it. So it's always good to know like different beers. 
um, and know a little bit about it. Um, and then this next step from knowing from all those different type of beer is maybe learning the ABV and the different percentages and knowing the sh like the different strengths of the beers. Um, so that's always good. I always tell my servers that. Um, and then also if your bar serves wine, it's good to know a little bit about wine. You at least want to know a sweet white, a dry white, something in the middle. And for red, same thing, something sweet, something dry, and then maybe like a blend. So those are just some other things to keep in mind. Um, yeah. We went over glassware, we went over wells, calls, um, sub premium, premium alcohols. We went over tools. Um, we kind of like looked at the fruit that I keep behind the bar. So limes, orange, lemon, um, cherries. Um, I keep stuffed olives in a fridge as well for martinis and other things like that. Um, so this is just the first episode. This is just going to be the first video I post kind of just about like the basics, just about the basic setup behind the bar. I kind of showed you guys how the mats are placed. Um, and this is uh, going to have a lot of voiceover. So me kind of just explaining stuff. I did come to this back room to kind of explain glassware and tools to y'all and about beer and wine. And then I can maybe go a little more depth in certain videos for those things as well. Um, but this is just my first little video. I want to give you guys a little bit out of time. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. Let me know if this helped y'all or if maybe you're a bartender as well. Maybe some things you guys do different. Um, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Girls on the road to 2K. And I love you guys. Until next video.